Kathleen and I know each other well enough to argue about timing and stuff. Uh, <laughs> if you look at the way that we set up the agenda, the top of the agenda says ends at 4 o'clock, and the main agenda ends at 3.45, and it's just because these conversations tend to go for a few extra minutes. And so, and a half. There you go. So I just, want to, I just want to take a couple more minutes uh, to just kind of wrap up. Um, there's no way I could make sense of everything that happened today. So many wonderful conversations and uh, fantastic. I'm just thinking even now, you know, the last thing Kathleen said about patience in this world. You know, I, I've got, I would not bet against Moore's Law, and it's fascinating to hear, you know, Steve, you saying actually, it might be accelerated. Where'd Steve go? Uh, that it might actually be accelerated, accelerating, right? But Kathleen was also really important. My version of Moore's Law, uh, which um, one day somebody will call Westerman's Law, uh, we published it as the first law of digital innovation, is that technology moves quickly and organizations move much more slowly. And that means, you know, changing the processes is hard enough, but also one other reason things go slowly is because people aren't ready for it. People don't feel they've got the capability. So in many ways, the people in this room today are going to be powering these changes forward to help yourselves, your companies move faster than other companies can. So if I could just do a quick uh, little thing here. Um, there's the Global Opportunity, the Road Forward, Global Opportunity Forum. Uh, yeah, we are changing the name. We have no idea what the name will be. <laughs> Kathleen's going to help. We'll figure it out. Uh, but, you know, we'll get there. Your input will be useful. I think we're going to go with the Welsh name, actually. <laughs> I think this could be a lot of fun, right? Uh, but the core, core, core point is that the, the future is not going to be invented by MIT. It's not going to be invented by, by Imperial. It's not going to be invented by BT, HSBC. It's going to be something we co-create because everybody has common challenges, but they're going to solve them in different contexts. And so the whole point that we're trying to do here is set up the opportunity to learn from each other and maybe take on a few challenges together and try to solve. So Charlie and Oren, for example, and Katie Hall, who was on earlier, uh, are thinking about human skills and what can we do with the, the, the framework that Katie helped to develop there and what they're doing in the training the human skills to say, what does this mean for the way we can train these skills across or other organizations, right? Uh, we'll, we'll be doing things on, you know, um, digital, digital skills would be another big working group, right? And, and others, uh, and, and different, you know, it's co-creating. What can we learn from each other and what can we solve together? Um, so, you know, that's what I'm asking you to help join us. Here's how we're doing it so far, right? So far, so far in our first year, in our little tiny pilot effort, we've done a lot of communications, some podcasts, right? We've done convenings in Boston, Manila, and now in London. We've got sponsored research going in Asia and in the U.S. Uh, and uh, field projects, but where are we going now? You know, being able to work with ILP means we're going to start doing webinars with ILP. Uh, so among the ILP members, um, we're going to have another workshop in November in Boston, but we're going to do one in Jakarta in October, and there will be others uh, coming along, and in roundtables and working groups. One of the things that I'm hearing a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of suggestions of is, can we get this team, this group together, to talk about topics from time to time? And so we're thinking about doing that. Can we create a roundtable where, hey, this month's topic is X. Who wants to show up and talk about it? And so if, if you're interested, we, we will do that kind of a thing going forward. I've got to say, I was hoping that we'd get a few interesting people to come to this thing. If, if I could give you a little bit of the history of this. Um, We wanted to do something maybe in Europe, maybe in London. And so I called up a couple guys I knew in London, and that was Steve Suarez and Steve Whitaker. And I said, what, what can we do in London? And, they, and I said, you know, is, would this be a neat thing? And most people are like, yeah, have fun, go for it. They're like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Next thing I know, Steve Whitaker said, well, we're doing something with ILP anyway. Let's come in here. At that point, Marie comes in. Where's Marie? <laughs> oh, my. Talk about herding cats. <laughs> Marie is just a master at this. Steve. Uh, helping to bring other people in, right? Uh, it, it all came together as just a weird vision that we all helped to create over time. And so, you know, this really was a collaboration between our little group um, and what ILP, Office of Corporate Relations, can do. And BT have been such amazing hosts for this whole thing. Uh, it's what you can do collaborating together, and, and we want to do more of that kind of work. So just the, the, the discussions, you know, from talent ecosystem through companies, through early career, and out to the advanced technologies, these, te these conversations will not stop, and we shouldn't stop them, right? But I want to, before we move on, I do want to thank the many, many people that were involved with this. I've already thanked the, the dreamers that put this together. I've always already thanked Marie 
for herding the cats and making it happen. But let's go through the rest of the list. Number one, BT and MIT, Office of Corporate Relations. It's, you know, to make this happen, to combine it with that wonderful event yesterday was, was fantastic. Uh, so I, I talked to Steve about the Steves. Uh, Marie, also Simon, are you here? Uh, Simon's not here, but another person who was just really integral in helping to plan this out and make this thing work. Uh, as far as actually making the event work, uh, we've got Aaron and Isabel. You met them both. So you met Isabel last, yesterday. You met Aaron today. Uh, making everything work behind the scenes. And on the MIT side also, we had Quan and Katrina doing the same thing on, our, on the MIT side to make all this happen. Um, then there are the Steves. <laughs> they, we must have seven Steves that were involved in this thing. Uh, so if I could just add Steve Cunningham, Steve Cassidy, Steve Palmer, all the other Steves we've been talking about. Um, the panelists. And, oh, uh, the, 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 thank you. I, wanted, I thank you, Simon, you weren't here. So, you know. Um, there's also the, uh, the, the program directors from the ILP. And so, you know, certainly there were a couple of Steves. There's Randall. Uh, they're the Ramos brothers. They're not really brothers. So, <laughs> okay. And I think I mentioned Randall also. Um, so just to help to pull this together, help to help, help, help make everybody work together. And I want to thank the panelists and speakers. And, you know, this was really neat. A lot of you, we've known each other a long time. Vicky, Aaron, Charlie, um, you know, uh, Sarah, where's Sarah, right? You know, uh, Lara, Katie, who was not here, we've known each other a long time, and so to be able to pull that together, certainly the MIT group, we know each other, whatever, but for me, it was also just a tremendous opportunity to meet people I've never met, and I want to stay in touch with, so uh, Elisa, Glenn, uh, Aaron, um, Reese, I'm going to run out of people. Bill, Layla, uh, Wendy, Joe, Joe, there's Joe, right? Um, just an opportunity to meet you. So um, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. And I want to make sure we end this in time. Is it 352 yet? Oh, it's almost there. Because something really important happens at 352. Um, 357. So I'm going to go put on my Druid outfit and hop on a cab. Uh, Thanks again. Let's have some more conversation after, but we will continue this to go forward. <laughs> <laughs>